Hi, hi. Um, this is another bucket hat tutorial and I'm absolutely obsessed with this one. I love this 3D popcorn flower um, daisy, you can call it. Um, it's very easy to make, so let's get to it. First, I'm using, I've doubled up on the yarn and I am going to uh, chain four. Once I have the chain of four, I'm going to connect the chain with a slip stitch. Okay, so once you connect the so-called magic circle, this is not really a magic circle, it's very similar, uh, you're going to uh, chain two and you're going to yarn over and you're going to start working double crochets right in the center of that little loop that we just created. Oh yeah, you will need to have 12 double crochets right in that center. So make sure you count your crochets. If you get lost on the way, uh, stop and do the counting and check it out. So here, as you can see, I've doubled up the yarn. This is because it's a lot easier to work with thicker yarn and this is going to get the extra volume and it's going to give a lot more form to the bucket hat. Also, it's going to save me a lot of time and a lot of yarn. So practically for this bucket hat, I needed about, I needed less than two full uh, balls and, um, whatever it is that I needed to create these uh, little uh, granny squares, but I created granny squares mostly from the leftover yarn for previous projects. So you can do the same. And now I'm going to connect my work with the slip stitch and then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to yarn over and into that first chain, that I just uh, created the, those two chains, I'm going to insert a double crochet. So for this round, we're going to go as usual, uh, two double crochets in each chain space around. So because we had 12 in the previous row, this is going to give us 24 at the end. So make sure to count those. Once you have all of the double crochets done, uh, make, make sure that you have all the stitches and then if you need more, just chain a few more and add them and then connect your work. And once that's done, I'm going to chain two, yarn over and start doing double crochets. So for this row, I am doing uh, every second stitch is uh, two double crochets. So I go one double crochet and then in an exchange space I insert two double crochets and I continue until the end. Make sure that you're working with the same tension all the time or at least very similar one. 
and don't forget to count every single stitch this one is quite important because this is supposed to be circular this is the top of the head and you don't want to mess this one up because this is the basic part the basic structure of the hat it, this is the portion that goes on top of your head and you want to do this one as neatly as possible At the end of this row, you are supposed to have 36 stitches in total. Uh, I'm having a little trouble with my yarn, but here I'm slip stitching, I'm chaining two, and continuing with double crochets. For this row, this is the fourth row. I'm going to do every third stitch with double crochet, two double crochets. So I'm going to have uh, two stitches with single double crochet, <laughs> and then the third stitch is going to have that increase two double crochets into the same chain space and you're going to repeat this around until you reach the end so every uh, third stitch is going to have two double crochets Okay, so I uh, my camera did not record, um, but I already finished the fourth and now I'm working on the fifth row. And the fifth row pretty much goes the same, just now every fourth stitch has two double crochets. So you're going to have uh, three chain spaces with one double crochet and then you're going to have um, the fourth chain with two double crochets. And you're going to continue all the way around so practically the pattern goes like that uh, you just increase the stitch and then uh, finish it with the slip stitch when you reach the end eventually you want your uh, head to be anywhere in between six and seven inches in diameter for an adult depending again on the size of your head but this is like the safest to assume and uh, once you have that done, secure your work and thread the yarn through so it does not come undone. Um, these are the granny squares that I already made and now I'm just going to connect them and create like a little loop, like a headband. And this is how I do it. There is another video of me a little bit more detailed uh, doing this. So you can check that out. It's one of the granny square bags. And I really explain in detail how to do that. I'll try to link it if I remember. So you can uh, click on that and watch it, or you can just continue watching this one. Connect your yarn and you're going to pick up um, the, the little uh, loops from each of the chain spaces from each side. So your working yarn needs to be in the middle. So you're going to pick that outer loop up and then on one side and then on the other and then you're going to go through all of them with the yarn that's in the middle so you're going to once you do this you're going to catch the yarn that's in the middle and you're going to pull it through so you're going to continue doing this until you finish and you're practically going to do the same thing for each and every of these granny squares it looks uh, tedious and it looks like it takes a lot of time it doesn't um, just try it and you'll see what I'm uh, talking about. It really goes fast. I think that uh, connecting these, um, I think probably it took me maybe 15 minutes to connect all of them. So that's really cool. And when you have them connected and put into the loop, try to hide the, all, these, uh, all this yarn that's hanging uh, 
around. Uh, you don't really need it. <laughs> you don't need it at all. And here it is all done and dusty, tidied up. And now I'm going to use, instead of a hook, I'm going to be working uh, with this darning needle. Well, actually it's like plastic needle for these kinds of projects to put the yarn, the, 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 the crocheted or knitted pieces together. Um, make sure to have enough yarn. You don't want to uh, go through the work and then just be like, oh, I don't have any more, so I have to connect it. It's going to to leave a mark because of the knots. So make sure to have enough yarn and then just start uh, sewing practically. You're going to go in between each of these spaces and you're gonna catch every single one of them in circle and that's it. As you can see, I'm going in between each and every stitch around and um, so just do this until everything is connected and the top part of your hat is done. Okay, so now we're going to uh, work the yarn around the bottom part and create that rim of the pocket hat. So you need to connect the yarn and I again decided to double up because it's going to uh, offer more support and um, it's going to offer more form to the bucket hat. And what I did, I just went uh, with a double crochet in each and every stitch around. Um, you do not need in this case to add any uh, new um, stitches like to in do increase or anything because this yarn is a lot thicker than the one that we used before because everything that you see all those granny squares are created with just a single thread of yarn and this is double so because it's double it's going to give a lot more volume and um, it's also making it easier for you i honestly tried first uh, to do the regular increase after every six um, stitches to have two double crochets in one chain space, but it started curling up and I did not want it to look that way. So my advice is um, do you, if you want it to be curled up, if you want it wavy, that's up to you. You can also do uh, increase every four stitches and just go around with that in circle. And now here I am connecting uh, that first row with the slip stitch, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to continue working uh, with the double crochets in each and every stitch. So eventually it's going to start flaring out and it's going to start looking like a hat. Again, if you wanted to continue with increasing your stitches in this row, I would recommend uh, to do after every eight to have one increase. Uh, if you want it to be curled up more, you can again do every six, um, every six stitches, you can have one increase. This is going to be enough, but if you want it super curly, like to have to be freely, <laughs> then you can do it every four stitches, have uh, an increase and just work it around. I prefer the hat to have that kind of straight edge uh, as opposed to the curly one. So this is the pattern that you're going to continue. So you have two options, well actually three. It, you have the option to just continue with uh, double crochets, which I did if you want this type of hat. Uh, you have option to increase every uh, six stitches and uh, you have option to increase every well, one row, six, every six stitches, uh, second row every eight stitches and then every 10, every 12 and so on but I did it this way and I really hope you liked it and that you will try to create this. And if you did so, please give it a like, comment, subscribe and share. Bye.